Ancient sites of great power and mystery are being obliterated across the globe. Today I'm going to show you major archaeological disasters, from destruction in Arizona to the history of humanity blown up in ancient Assyria. Terror in Nineveh The Nebi Yunus Shrine, an ancient structure positioned at the top of a hill, stands in eastern Mosul. The shrine is one of two large mounds forming the remains of the ancient Assyrian city of Nineveh. According to Muslims, Nebi Yunus is the tomb of Yunus from the Quran. According to Christians, it's the tomb of the prophet Jonah. Underneath the shrine is the buried world of the Assyrians from 2,700 years ago. During the occupation of Mosul by ISIS forces between 2014 and 2017, the shrine was blown up. ISIS militants then dug tunnels deep underneath the mound in search of archaeological treasure. Three millennia ago, Nineveh was one of the greatest cities in the world. It had a great river running through it, sealed by massive fortified walls. There were multiple grand gateways to enter the metropolis, and inside were palaces and temples. The temples were dedicated to the Mesopotamian gods known widely as the Anunnaki. The destruction of Nebi Yunus was terrible, as were the tunnels being dug haphazardly through the buried ruins. But it wasn't all bad. When the city was retaken, archaeologists went down into the tunnels to assess the damage. They ended up finding a series of inscriptions detailing the life of King Esar Haddon. The inscriptions suggest the tunnels were carved through a buried palace. It's still unknown what the true scope of destruction was. ISIS may have destroyed archaeological treasures and looted hundreds of artifacts. Researchers still need a lot of time at the site to assess its destruction. Destruction in Arizona Several ancient Native American sites have been destroyed on purpose in Arizona by state parks and trails. The destruction was because the state wanted to build more visitor attractions and make more money. This is all according to an extremely respected American archaeologist by the name of Will Russell. He blew the whistle on the whole diabolical affair. According to Russell, he continuously warned officials with Arizona State Parks and Trails that they were violating the law by destroying artifacts. But Russell said all his warnings fell on deaf ears. Not only was he ignored, but he was also threatened with physical violence by his supervisor. Russell doesn't seem like the kind of person who would lie about something like this. He has been a specialist for historic preservation with the Arizona Department of Transportation for years. The agency was responsible for protecting and preserving cultural resources. However, Will Russell said the real secret goal is to put up more cabins for more tourists and make more money. In the process, archaeological sites have been seriously damaged. In one memo, Will Russell wrote that an archaeological site 12,000 years old was irreversibly damaged during a project. In another instance, a road was built directly over the remains of a Native American site. This was in the Granite Mountain Hotshots Memorial State Park. When Russell tried to prevent the road from being built, he was removed from his role as tribal liaison officer. The same thing happened at Tonto Natural Bridge State Park when he tried to prevent a garden from being built in the remains of an archaeological site. The whole thing was a huge fiasco. Russell earned a PhD in anthropology at Arizona State University. He left his job because he was disgusted at the way that ancient sites in America were being destroyed. His supervisor, a woman named Sue Black, faced other allegations. She was accused of racial slurs, being drunk at work, and ignoring state codes. In 2018, she was fired, but the damage was already done. And now for number 7. But first, it's shout-out time. I wanted to give a big thank you to Terry Lynn 1071 and Kyle Brown 6951 for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. The Thracian Tomb In 2018, one of the most breathtaking ancient tombs in Europe was discovered in Bulgaria. It's extremely important to the local history, but it might not be around much longer. A geophysical survey identified an anomaly within an ancient Thracian burial mound. It looked like there was a structure beneath the dirt, but nobody had anticipated how incredible it would be. Archaeologists investigated digging down into the earth. They soon uncovered a single tomb that they believed belonged to a mighty emperor. The tomb is entirely unique. It's something known as a tower tomb, shaped kind of like a ziggurat from Mesopotamia. The reason it's unique is that these types of tombs were not typically constructed in Europe. It's unlike any other burial found in Bulgaria, or any other part of the ancient Roman Empire for that matter. Its closest comparisons are tower tombs in Petra and Palmyra, though ISIS destroyed the one in Palmyra in 2015. 
Due to the sheer scale and impressiveness of the tomb, scientists know it must have belonged to someone important. Their best guess is that it was the final resting place of Roman Emperor Philip I, also known as Philip the Arab. He ruled Rome between 244 and 249 AD. Philip's reign came to an end when he was betrayed at the Battle of Verona, murdered by Gaius Messius Quintus Decius. Gaius then took over as emperor of Rome, but only managed to survive for a little over two years. The tomb hasn't been destroyed yet. There is still hope. The trouble is that archaeologists have already found evidence of treasure hunters pillaging the place. Statues and decorations have been stolen. Tunnels have been found that were dug using shovels, an attempt by thieves to reach the tomb. Archaeologists wanted to excavate but didn't have the funding in place. Excavation work stopped. Archaeologists were left afraid that when they got enough money to continue, thieves would have pillaged the whole tomb and taken everything of worth. The Dingle Peninsula Ireland's Dingle Peninsula is an epic landscape that belongs in a Lord of the Rings movie. In fact, the Dingle Peninsula was used to film Star Wars. That's how epic and awe-inspiring the scenery here is. But it's also a place of great history, with much of that history currently falling into the ocean. Archaeologists here are in a race against time. They are battling tides, ceaseless rain and eroding winds as they try to unravel the secrets of the peninsula. At the site of Dune Point, archaeologists recently excavated the ruins of a forgotten fortress before it fell into the sea. John O'Keefe with the Discovery Program believes the edge of the peninsula was once home to Iron Age people who built their homes on the shoreline 2,000 years ago. But there's also a castle a few feet away from the ruins that was built in the 15th century, along with a tower from the Napoleonic era in the distance. Everywhere you look across the grassy landscape are pieces of the past. The issue archaeologists are having is that Dune Point keeps falling into the ocean. The tides are relentless in their mission to destroy the coastline. The rough cliff walls are collapsing, the seas are rising and ancient history is sinking. All that remains of the castle today is a stump of stone, but it's evidence of a much larger community that was active here in medieval times. The physical proof of the people who lived here is buried underneath many feet of dirt and has to be clawed from the ground. That's what archaeologists are trying to do before the whole place crumbles into the sea. Melting Maya Ruins in Mexico, acid rain is slowly but surely destroying ancient temples and culturally important monuments. Scientists believe the acid rain is caused by pollution and that the damage it's causing is irreversible. How in the world does acid rain destroy ancient monuments? According to scientists, the acid rain is literally melting them. Experts have warned that if the acid rain continues to fall, Mexico's most treasured inscriptions could be gone within a hundred years. Heritage sites that have existed since 2000 BC could be melted away. Of course, entire pyramids won't dissolve into puddles of mushy stone. Instead, scientists are mostly concerned about inscriptions and wall writings. Dr. Pablo Sanchez from the Center of Atmospheric Studies warns that walls, pillars, and other structures with writing will be worn away. The acid rain is like sandpaper scratching off the words written by the Maya. All the beautiful inscriptions and artistic images carved on temples will dissolve to the point where all the great monuments are barren. The monuments will still be there, but the acid rain will have scrubbed them of their charms. Let me break down how exactly acid rain can do this. Most of the ruins you'll see in Mexico were built from limestone. Limestone contains something called calcium carbonate. When pollution wafts into the atmosphere and mixes with rain clouds, the pH level of rainwater is significantly lowered. This tainted water hits the limestone and dissolves calcium carbonate with the strength of raw bleach. Outrage in France in France, something truly unimaginable just took place. It's so shocking that even I'm having a hard time believing it. Archaeologists sounded alarm after a group of standing stones built 2,000 years before Stonehenge were destroyed, then replaced with a new DIY retail store. It's too late already. The site has been destroyed. 39 standing stones, also called Meniers, were lost in the town of Karnak. These ancient stones had been standing peacefully in a field for 7,000 years. All it took was a bit of corporate greed to have them ripped out and thrown away. Locals are furious, archaeologists are outraged, but there's no turning back now. 
According to the local officials, the site had low archaeological value. They determined all on their own that the low value of the stones meant it was okay to destroy them and build a home improvement store. The operation was even approved by the local mayor's office. Karnak is home to roughly 3,000 standing stones in two protected areas spanning about four miles. Nobody knows the purpose of the stones or why they were built. It's one of the greatest prehistoric mysteries in Europe. Now the mystery is 39 stones smaller. The Bamian Buddhas 2001 was the most devastating year in terms of archaeological losses in recent memory. Religious extremists with the Taliban destroyed a pair of enormous Buddha statues from the 6th century AD. The Bamiyan Buddhas were some of the biggest Buddhas in the world, standing 180 feet and 125 feet tall. They had been standing in the Bamiyan Valley, located in Afghanistan's Hazarajat region, for over 1400 years. They were initially carved into the face of a vast cliff by Buddhists who settled along the ancient trading route known as the Silk Road. The road moved between China and Europe, with many of the most important medieval cities being founded along its route. With the carving of the Buddhas, the area became one of the most important holy sites in the world of Buddhism. There were Buddhist monasteries and cave sanctuaries galore. But on March 2, 2001, the Taliban began the complete and utter demolition of these two cultural relics. Their reasoning was that the statues did not abide by their strict religious code. The Buddhas were seen as idolatrous in violation of Islamic law. To the Taliban, the Buddhas may as well have been giant statues of Satan. In a bizarre turn of events, the Taliban has now opened the site for tourists. First they destroyed the Buddhas, really destroyed them because not a scrap of them remains. Now they're trying to make money by drawing tourists to the non-existent statues they blew up. The War in Ukraine on June 6, 2023, the war in Ukraine resulted in irreversible damage to ancient cultural sites. Russian occupiers blew up a hydroelectric dam. The subsequent flooding caused unimaginable hardship for the local people. It ruined lives and homes, but it also destroyed valuable sites. According to historian Dr. Svetlana Bilieva, a fortress from the 14th century was flooded. It's called Tainka Fortress, an ancient monument that dates to the Crimean Khanate. It was a state that existed from 1441 until 1783. The fortress was only discovered during excavations in 2017. Researchers hardly had time to study the place before the war broke out. Only a handful of objects were found, including the remains of a medieval settlement. Even before the flooding, the ancient fortress and surrounding village were shelled by Russian forces. Tiahinka Fortress isn't the only place that's been damaged since the start of the war. According to UNESCO's official website, they verified damage to no less than 327 archaeological sites between February 24, 2022 and November 2, 2023. The sites damaged from battle include 124 religious places, 142 historically important buildings, 28 museums, 19 monuments, and 13 libraries. All this is just from the war in Ukraine. Imagine how much of Europe's ancient history was completely erased during World War I and World War II. Destruction in Gaza As the war in Gaza rages on, more ancient sites are being destroyed. On October 20, 2023, a great piece of history was bombarded by an Israeli airstrike. Missiles hit a compound containing a church that was built in the year 425. It was one of the oldest working churches in the Palestinian enclave. In the late hours of the day, missiles struck the church of St. Porphyrius. At least 16 people were left dead, with many injured inside the compound. Citizens had taken shelter in the ancient building, only to have the structure come down around them. The facade of the church was damaged, with the force of the missiles causing an adjacent building to collapse. The church is old, like really old. It's believed to be the third oldest standing church in the world. Everything surrounding it is old too. The religious building is flanked by stone walls, built at a time when crusaders were still fighting over Jerusalem. The church itself was named after Bishop Porphyrius. He was responsible for closing the pagan temples in Gaza in the 5th century. The bishop laid the first stones for the foundation of the church. It survived 1600 years and is now being pummeled by missiles. Which destroyed site would you bring back to its former glory if you could? And which of these rapidly fading sites do you want to see before it's gone? Let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe if you haven't yet and come back soon for more awesome videos from the channel.